Every year while the kids get ready for trick-or-treating, law enforcement gets the community ready to make certain everybody's safe. Officers and, and deputies go around to uh, predators to make, remind them of the rules about Halloween, but there are other things that parents can do to make it a fun and festive night. Look who's here. Sheriff Chad Cronus from Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office. Hey, how you doing? Good morning, Russ. Good to see you. Welcome back. It's been a long time it has, since we've had you here. It has been way too long. And yeah. I think that's why Halloween's going to be so busy this year. It's almost like everyone had a pass last year, so we know there's going to be a lot more children, a lot more adults out celebrating Halloween this year. But, you know, you brought up a very valid point. Halloween for the Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office started almost three weeks ago as we were out making visits to those sexual predators and offenders, reminding them that there is no Halloween. And, and that means... Keep the lights off. Nothing. Nothing. In no way, shape, or form are they to participate in Halloween in any fashion. But there's also a way for parents to know where these houses are. And I think a lot of people are very surprised sometimes to know they could be in their neighborhood. Great point. Everyone should go to the Florida Department of Law Enforcement website and look exactly where these predators and offenders are within our community. Okay. <clears throat> Got that out of the way. You've been making certain all of that is safe. So we get to uh, we get to the night, and it's, well, first of all, let's get to let's get to buying costumes because I know everybody's trying. I mean, everybody's going out this year. We're ready to get out and do something. But you got some advice for kids in costumes. Make sure the costumes fit. We want it to be the coolest costume, right? We want uh, our costume or our child's costume uh, just to be this phenomenal outfit. But it has to have functionality. Yeah. Busiest night. One of the busiest nights in the emergency room or Halloween and it's simply because costumes don't fit. Make sure they can actually walk and function in a costume. Make sure they can see so they can cross the roadway safely. Last thing we need is a child being hit. Um, also, I mean, it's a reminder we do every year. We've been doing this since I was a kid and we know how long ago that was about the candy and making sure it's safe. And we're so fortunate. It is rare. It's those rare incidences. But as parents, we have to inspect that candy. A child's focused on one thing, is getting as much candy as they can. We have to be the ones to police the candy. Make sure that it's brand name. And if you see something that doesn't look right, please pitch it. Throw it away. Um, and also, I mean, I guess trick-or-treat night this year is Sunday night. Is that is that true? I'm yeah, that means a lot of people would be calling in sick to work on Monday. <laughs> well, there's that. <laughs> there is that. But, I mean, if you're going to be out driving Sunday night, if you're driving your kids on Sunday night, you got to obey a lot of rules and drive extra slow. I agree. Be patient. Yeah, we're focused on our children, but we have to be focused on everyone's children. We don't want that child to dart out in the traffic, and we're the ones that end up striking that child. Listen, be patient. Take your time. And as an adult, if you're out there enjoying those Halloween parties, make sure as friends we get that person home safely mm -hmm. to make sure they don't come into contact with us in the wrong way. Very nice. What's the last advice? Come on, last, last word. What do you want to say? Be safe. I want everyone to have a great Halloween. Listen, I'm just as excited as everyone else. Let's just celebrate it responsibly and safely. Nice. Chad, good to see you. Sheriff, good to see you. Great to see you.